Ever heard of a movie that shook up the advertising world back in 1969? Well, there's one called Putney Swope that did just that. It's a funny, an eye-opening film directed by Robert Downey Sr. that flips the script on traditional power dynamics in the advertising industry. Instead of your typical success story, it's filled with surprising twists and turns, making you laugh, gasp, and maybe even shed a tear. Now, if you're curious about some hidden gems or interesting stories about this movie, you're in luck. There are plenty of funny, shocking, and even sad tidbits waiting to be discovered. So, let's dive in and explore what makes this film stand the test of time. One of the reasons why Putney Swope remains relevant today is its bold take on race, politics, and how companies sell stuff to us. But what really sets it apart is its no-holds-barred humor and fearless satire. These qualities are what make it a classic in the world of movies. Now I want to hear from you. Do you have any memorable moments or personal stories connected to this film? Share them below and let's keep the conversation alive. One viewer found Putney Swope to be a refreshing discovery, praising its humor, edginess, and surrealism. They liken it to a collaboration between the Marx Brothers, Salvador Dali, and Malcolm X on LSD, applauding its intelligence and comedic value. Despite its dated references, they recommended owning the film for its quality entertainment. Another viewer was captivated from the start, comparing its enigmatic nature to a distant nuclear explosion where understanding unfolds gradually. They highlighted its relevance to black exploitation films and its insightful portrayal of mass media manipulation through advertising. Both viewers emphasized the film's unique and thought-provoking qualities, making it a must-watch for those interested in unconventional cinema. Carrying a self-applied X rating for its initial 18 months of release, the film was submitted for an official rating in December of 1970, garnering an R made on a budget of $250,000 all labor for the film was non-union. Notably, this marked Elzbieta C. Zysiska's first film after her arrival in the United States, having been one of Poland's most renowned actresses before her departure from the country. Among the American Film Institute's 2000 list of the 500 movies nominated for the top 100 funniest American movies, Robert Downey Sr. redubbed all of Arnold Johnson's lines because he had trouble remembering his lines and often flubbed them during filming. Shelley Plimpton made her debut in the movie. Putney Swope is a notable film for its inclusion in the American Film Institute's list of top comedies, as well as for the redubbing of Arnold Johnson's lines by Robert Downey Sr. due to Johnson's difficulty with remembering lines during filming. Additionally, it marks the debut of Shelley Plimpton in film. In the movie, the president's car is a unique 1959 Imperial Crown Imperial limousine with a custom body by Gia. It was originally used for Queen Elizabeth II's tour of Canada. The car, costing around $50,000 at the time, equivalent to about $485,000 in 2022, features a distinctive bubble canopy over the rear seats. It's now housed in a museum in Kuwait. The President and First Lady, played by Pepe Herman and Ruth Herman respectively, were siblings in real life. When he goes to meet the President, he dresses to resemble Fidel Castro. These elements add depth to the storyline, reflecting the character's dynamics and the era's political backdrop. In a notable scene of the movie, a real homeless man was hired for $10 and four bottles of wine to add authenticity to a scene shot in a garbage-strewn alley in Manhattan. He performed perfectly by drinking the wine and passing out on a pile of trash. Also, the car featured in a commercial, known as the Borman 6, was actually a 1959 Fiat 1E200 Grandview Spider. Notably, Mel Brooks has made significant contributions to cinema, appearing in and directing several films, including Putney Swope, recognized by the Library of Congress for their cultural significance. Louis C.K. has cited this film as his favorite. It was chosen for preservation in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress in 2016. In a 2000 interview, Marlene Clark, who plays a topless stewardess in a commercial spoof within the film, revealed it was her first experience with on-screen nudity. She recounted how director Robert Downey Sr. misled her and other actresses, assuring them they were out of focus when filming the scene. However, upon seeing the final cut, she realized they were very much in focus. Picture this cruising down the street in a slick 1929 Rolls-Royce Phantom. Hi, this car is a real head-turner, the kind of ride that never goes out of style. It's so pristine you'd think it just rolled off the showroom floor. Nowadays, a beauty like that could easily fetch over $100,000. Now, here's the kicker this car isn't just any old set piece. It's a star in its own right. Featured in the Eclipse series 33 Up All Night with Robert Downey Sr. DVD collection. And guess what? You know Antonio Fargas, 
Yeah, the guy who played Huggy Bear and Starsky and Hutch. Well, he got his start in this movie, playing a character called the Arab. It's pretty cool how all these pieces come together to make cinematic history, isn't it? So next time you're watching a movie, keep an eye out for those little details that make it special. In the beginning scenes of the movie, a helicopter called Bell 47 J2 Ranger with the number in 73213 is shown. Later on, this helicopter was in Canada for a bit before coming back to the US with a new number and 4989T. This particular type of helicopter was the first one used for the president's travel, starting with Dwight D. Eisenhower. One interesting thing about the cast is a character named Mr. Forget It, played by Mel Brooks. However, it's not the same famous Mel Brooks most people know. This Mel Brooks is not as well known as the other one you might be thinking of. These details give us some neat insights into how the movie was made, like why they chose a helicopter and who they cast for certain roles. It's little stuff like this that makes the 1969 film stand out. In an unexpected turn, the 1969 film Putney Swope had a tragic connection to real life events. Regrettably, halfway through production, one of the lead actors unexpectedly passed away, casting a somber shadow over the set. Despite the setback, the cast and crew persevered, honoring the actor's memory by completing the film with unwavering dedication and professionalism. Their resilience in the face of adversity speaks volumes about their commitment to the project. In a bold move, director Robert Downey Sr. challenged the norms of the film industry by creating a satire that pushed boundaries and tackled taboo subjects head-on. Through his vision, he delivered a thought-provoking commentary on race, consumerism, and the power dynamics within advertising agencies. Downey's fearless approach sparked both controversy and admiration, establishing Putney Swope as a groundbreaking work of cinema. Despite its initial reception, Putney Swope eventually found its audience, resonating with viewers who appreciated its audacity and unapologetic critique of society. Over time, the film has earned its place in cinematic history, revered for its boldness and social commentary. Its impact continues to be felt, inspiring filmmakers and challenging audiences to confront uncomfortable truths. In a surprising turn of events, the 1969 movie Putney Swope was initially rejected by the Cannes Film Festival, despite its innovative approach and bold social commentary. This rejection came as a shock to many, considering the film's unique perspective on advertising and race relations in America at the time. Directed by Robert Downey S.R., the film follows the unexpected rise of Putney Swope, a black man who unexpectedly becomes the chairman of an advertising agency after the sudden death of its founder. Putney's takeover leads to radical changes in the company's approach, challenging societal norms, and shaking up the industry. One notable aspect of the film is its tragic undercurrent, as it explores themes of corruption, exploitation, and the loss of integrity in pursuit of success. Despite Putney's initial idealism, he finds himself ensnared in the very system he sought to disrupt, ultimately losing sight of his original principles. Putney Swope's bold and unapologetic portrayal of race and power dynamics in America challenged conventional wisdom and sparked important conversations about representation and agency. Its refusal to conform to mainstream expectations cemented its status as a cult classic and a landmark in independent cinema. In a surprising turn of events, one of the actors in the film 1969 movie Putney Swope tragically passed away shortly after its release. He was a pivotal character in the movie and his sudden demise left the cast and crew in shock. The movie, known for its bold satire and groundbreaking approach, challenged societal norms and provided a stark commentary on the advertising industry. With its unconventional storyline and witty dialogue, it captivated audiences and critics alike. Putney Swope, a character thrust into the role of CEO of an advertising agency after a fluke vote, navigates the cutthroat world of advertising with a mix of cynicism and humor. Through his eyes, viewers are exposed to the absurdity and corruption prevalent in the industry. Despite its initial mixed reception, the film gained a cult following over the years, praised for its boldness and willingness to tackle taboo subjects. It remains a significant piece of cinematic history, showcasing the power of satire and addressing social issues. Tragically, the actor who portrayed a key character in the film faced a premature demise, leaving behind a void in the hearts of those who appreciated his talent and contribution to the movie. However, his performance in Putney Swope will forever be remembered as a testament to his skill as an actor.